In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an acid fast stain, also called a Zeal Nielsen stain. Hello. First, we need to put on our eye protection. Here's our acid fast staining procedure. We start with our primary stain, carbofuxin. Once applied to the slide, we'll need to heat this over our water bath for three to five minutes. This will drive the stain into the waxy acid fast cell walls. After staining, this is what our acid fast cells will look like under the microscope. Hot pink and they often stick together because they're waxy. The second step will be the decolorizer, acid alcohol, which will run down the slide for 10 to 15 seconds. After rinsing, we'll then apply crystal violet, the counter stain. This will impart color to the non-acid fast or non-waxy cells. And our non-acid fast will be purple when we're done. Application of the primary stain will be done in a fume hood. Here is my bacterial smear. I have three smears on the slide. One is a known acid fast, one is a known non-acid fast, and then in the center I have an unknown. For this step, I will need to put a piece of blotting paper that's been cut in the shape of a slide on top of that slide, right on top of the bacterial smear. I then place that slide with the blotting paper on top of my water bath. And now I'm ready to apply my primary stain, carbofuxin. I drip the primary stain onto that slide. I want to totally saturate the blotting paper. It's okay if a little stain runs over and goes into the water bath, but I need that paper completely saturated. Now I'll let that slide heat over the water bath for three to five minutes. If the blotting paper begins to dry out, reapply more stain. Once this first step is complete, I'm going to remove the blotting paper and discard it. Then I will rinse the slide until the water running off it is completely clear. Now I'm ready for my second step, application of the decolorizer, acid alcohol. When I apply the decolorizer, I like to tilt the slide downward and drip that decolorizer over the slide so it runs right down. This way I can see the primary stain being removed from the non-acid fast cells. After 10 to 15 seconds of decolorizer, I rinse my slide. I rinse between every step of this procedure. Now I'm ready to apply the counter stain, crystal violet. This will stain the non-acid fast or non-waxy cells a dark purple color. I drip that crystal violet onto the slide, making sure that it covers all three of the bacterial smears, and I leave that on for one minute. 
Now I'm going to rinse my slide for the last time. I need to run water over it until the water coming off the slide runs clear. Here's what my slide looks like once I've completed my acid fast stain. I'd like to show you examples of a couple more acid fast stain slides. On this slide I also have three circles, three bacterial smears. The controls are on the outside, the unknown in the center. On the right is my non-acid fast, my negative control. In this sample I've used staph, so it has retained the counter stain and will appear dark purple when I look at it under the scope. On the left side is my positive control, my acid fast organism. I have used mycobacterium as a known acid fast. You can see how I don't have a nice smooth circle of color. The color is clumped on the slide and that's because the bacteria again are waxy and they stick together. Under the scope they're going to be hot pink and again you'll find them in clumps. Here's an example of another similar slide, but my acid fast control on the left is a little more visible and I do see a circle of color.